second matcha of 2018. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I'm going over kind of like my everyday makeup, go-to makeup, also kind of like a no makeup makeup look while talking about my five good habits I wanna bring into 2018. If you watched my previous vlog, I talked about the five bad habits that I wanted to leave in 2017. So these uh, habits are gonna help to replace the bad ones while getting ready. So if you guys are interested and wanna get ready with me, just keep on watching. The first thing I'm gonna do is prime my skin with this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is essentially a moisturizer that has a built-in primer into it. But whenever I do a no makeup look, I like to have like an all over glow to the skin because it kind of fakes the look of glowy, dewy, perfect looking skin. So I'm also gonna mix in this Photography Fluid Opacity 12%. I know the name's kind of crazy. It's basically a gold liquid illuminator. It's by Neod. It's the same, um, or it's from the same parent company as The Ordinary. I have been loving The Ordinary. I've been experimenting with a lot of their products. So stay tuned for a video on that. And I'm just gonna swatch this so you guys can see what it is since, you know, it kind of looks strange in this bottle. So when I apply it to my hand, there you go. That's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna add two drops into this moisturizer and apply it all over. By the way, this is my third time filming this video. So it's technically not my second matcha. It's probably like my 20th matcha already this year. First video, the quality was absolutely garbage. It just didn't look good. Second video, I was editing it and there is food in my teeth the entire video. So third time is a charm. For my foundation today, I'm gonna be using Max Face and Body. This is a classic, really dewy, really fresh, really sheer, which is perfect for day-to-day -day wear. I even like it more so than a BB cream, CC cream, or tinted moisturizer. I just think it wears better. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my fingers while going over my first good habit that I'm going to incorporate into the new year. So when it comes to wasting time on social media, and yes, I know I spelled it wrong. Do know that I know how to spell wasting. I don't. I just don't know what happened here. <laughs> Instead of doing that, I want to research and educate myself more, whether that be through reading a book or looking up useful information on the internet versus useless scrolling on Instagram. I mean, if I'm on Instagram and I'm doing stuff like posting, commenting, responding to you guys, and it makes sense, but if I'm literally just scrolling and doing absolutely nothing, that's what really bothers me. So I think if I realize that I'm doing that and instead I start to maybe look up things that I'm curious about, certain ingredients and products, recipes, I truly believe that knowledge is power. The more you know, the more powerful you are as a person. For most of us, the internet, I mean, if you're watching this video, you have access to the internet. So the internet uh, for most of us is easy to access. You can go on Google and look stuff up. So I think that is more beneficial for me and especially in what I do and just kind of like learning about uh, different products and ingredients, especially like skincare and stuff like that. It's more useful to me to spend my time doing that versus just looking at photos on Instagram. Don't you guys agree? So instead of just focusing on the bad habits and saying, I'm not gonna do those bad habits in the new year, by replacing them with something else that's positive, it'll get you in the habit of doing that instead of the bad ones. So I highly recommend if you're watching this to also make a list for yourself of the bad habits and what you can do to replace those. And something that can easily replace it. So for example, wasting time on social media, I could spend that time researching and educating myself instead. I wouldn't do anything super dramatic like, oh, instead of wasting time on social media, I'm gonna run three miles because if it's already really late at night, chances are I'm not gonna get up and run three miles, but I can easily switch from Instagram to the internet or a book and read through some useful information instead of, you know, doing the opposite of that. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer. I'm pretty sure I'm still saying this wrong. I'll get it right one of these days. I'm using the shade Bis to just brighten up the inner corner part of the eye because even with a no makeup makeup look, you still wanna brighten up the eye area because it just makes us look more awake and bright eyed. I just, I love using something with this kind of tone to it, like a peachy salmon-y color to brighten up the inner corners. I'm also gonna be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Canal, just underneath the eyes, nowhere else. I'm not trying to highlight and contour, um, but I do want the eyes to look really bright and awake. I'm gonna go ahead and apply those two while I go over my second good habit, which is instead of digital hoarding, which I just looked at my phone right now, I'm like, you really need to delete some stuff. I want to categorize files as I use them. So whenever I'm uploading a video, whenever I'm posting on Instagram, instead of keeping all those different edits of like a thumbnail or a post on Instagram, delete the extra ones. There's no need to keep 
the edits that you're not going to use. That's where I have an issue with the digital hoarding because I know I got a few comments saying like, don't delete your files, just back them up, don't delete them. But it's not the important files that I have issues with, like my YouTube video files and my makeup photos. It's like all the screenshots and all like the just like random things that I save on my phone. There's no need to keep those if you're not going to use them unless it's like a recipe or something. But even then it should be categorized because then what happens is when you go back to reference it, you can't find it on your phone because it's all jumbled into this mess of like 5,000 plus photos on your phone. So I think if I just take like a little extra time to categorize throughout the day, um, whenever I'm posting or as soon as I screenshot something, categorize it, put it into a folder on your iPhone. You know how your iPhone has um, different albums? Do one for like recipes, workouts, one for or makeup inspo instead of just letting it all sit in one spot because that is when it becomes a major, major problem. So I'm just gonna blend this out and then go in with Canal. Again, just right underneath the eye in this inner corner. And even though this look isn't meant to be perfect, I still like to cover up my sunspots because I want them off my face. I'm gonna get IPL soon to remove them. I know some people are like, they're cute, leave them. Okay, sun damage is not cute. These need to be off my face. This is from not wearing sunscreen, from fake tanning and tanning beds. They're not freckles, they are sun damage. So I'm gonna be covering them up with my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in the shade SC4. I've done damage on this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop some out with this little utensil I have here. And next on my list is leaving things to the last minute. I am the absolute worst at this. So in order to replace leaving things to the last minute, the obvious answer is to plan ahead. <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard for so many of us. Even with everything being on my calendar, I just, I still forget things just creep up on me out of nowhere. So I think by just planning ahead and maybe even the better strategy is to not just put things on my calendar, but also put a reminder two to three weeks before the actual event. So that way I know to get all my things together before it actually happens and not be scrambling the day of, especially when it comes to traveling. Anytime I travel, I find myself doing my errands literally the day before, even things like filming, I'll be filming the day before, then editing on the plane, then I feel like my trip is ruined because I spent it working, doing everything ahead of time. And I think putting in a reminder on my calendar will really help. This past year, I finally got into the habit of putting everything on my, what is it called? Like my iCloud calendar or my like, like the calendar on my iPhone um, and on my computer and syncing all of them. So that way, whatever I enter on my computer is also on my phone. It's also on my laptop. Um, that way I don't ever miss a beat with having to put everything, you know, in separate calendars. I've learned that paper calendars or planners don't do well for me. Anytime I have a notebook or a paper calendar, I'm always good for the first two weeks of having that calendar and then I forget. But with it on my phone, it's a lot easier because I'm obviously constantly checking my phone. I think a lot of us are or we're on a computer. So I found that to be more efficient for me versus an actual paper calendar, even though I do love having a physical uh, calendar or planner. It just, it they always go to waste. I'm usually really good about it for the first two weeks of having the paper calendar and then a couple months go by and I look at it and I'm like, hmm, you haven't put anything new in this calendar in the past three months. So digital for me is the way to go. And then real quick, I'm just gonna set my face with the CoverFX Perfect Setting Powder in light. Always pick up the excess creasing because if not, you'll set those creases in place. It's happened to me before. And I try to use a little less powder with a simple makeup look like this. So I'm just gonna use my Smith 232 to work the powder into the eye area and then I'm gonna use a large brush to dust it everywhere else. Moving on to bronzer because bronzer to me is always essential whether you're wearing a lot of makeup or a little bit of makeup, it just defines your face because if not, I feel one dimensional and flat. So I'm gonna be using this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer in the shade number two. I feel like it goes on really natural looking and this chair, I don't know if you guys can hear how squeaky this chair is. I hope the mic's not picking it up. Also, I have a humidifier running in the background, so I also hope you're not hearing that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush and go over my fourth good habit. This one was to, or my bad habit was being a homebody, which isn't necessarily bad. It's not a bad thing to be a homebody. I just do it to the max sometimes because I love being at home, sitting on the couch, watching planet Earth. 
my favorite thing to do. Um, but instead of being a homebody all the time, I thought I should explore more and I put bucket list question mark because I think the problem that I run into and Kyle and I do this all the time where we're just like sitting around, we're like, well, what should we do? And it becomes that annoying, like, well, what do you want to do? And then he's like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, oh, what do you want to do? You come up with something. And I think by making a bucket list and it doesn't have to be a bucket list of crazy things. When you hear bucket list, I think you think of like jumping out of an airplane or like, I don't even know, like jet skiing, something crazy. Jet skiing's not crazy. But you think of something wild and it doesn't have to be anything wild, just a list of places and things you wanna do. Maybe it's a coffee shop you've been wanting to go to, a restaurant, a movie you wanna see. That way, whenever you're sitting around doing nothing and you're like, okay, maybe I should get off the couch and do something else, you can look at that list and just kind of throw it out there and be like, okay, you know what, I should get up and go to that coffee shop or go to that restaurant. It doesn't have to be anything extreme, for example, I live in LA and there's so many touristy things that I have yet to do in LA like the observatory I haven't been there at night I think I've hiked it during the day and uh, got followed by a coyote with Mika and decided to just go home after that <laughs> so little things like that like going to the observatory I just want to explore more and I can do it in my own city I don't have to travel anywhere to do that even though that could also be on the bucket list and it probably will be but in the meantime for now whenever I'm looking for something to do I can just look at my list and then I'm also going to toss this into the crease of the eyes as well because you also want the eyes to look a little contoured. And depending on my mood, sometimes I'll use this Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. Um, it does make your brows look a little fuller. It has some fibers in it, so it makes them look thicker. And it, it looks like you actually put product in your brows when you use this. I love this stuff, but sometimes it can be a little too much if I want it to look like I have no makeup on. Um, so I think today I'm going to use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. And I'm also going to lightly brush this uh, lifted mascara by Tarte onto my lashes. It's an espresso color, it's not black, so it looks a little more natural. And my fifth and final habit. I think this might be my worst one, honestly. It's forgetting to respond, specifically text messages. I don't know, man. I've already done it in this new year too. I'm like, I'm already failing. <laughs> I read this thing that said, January is like the trial month for your New Year's resolution. Um, but to replace that bad habit, I put check in at end of the day. So the reason I forget to respond a lot of the times is because I'll be doing other things on my social media for work or I'll be editing or I'll be filming, especially when I'm filming. That's like the main cause of me not responding is uh, me filming because I don't want to get distracted, I want to get the video done and if I walk away from the camera and start responding to stuff, I it just throws me off. Then I can't get back into the swing of things with um, what I was filming. So usually that's the cause of me forgetting to respond. Emails and text messages and phone calls. So I think that if I check in at the end of the day, getting in that habit will help to not leave things lingering for so long because like I said, it does kill me when a friend has texted me like, hey, you want to get together on Thursday? And then I look at my messages and it's Friday and I'm like, I never responded. And then it gets awkward to respond back and be like, hey, I never saw your text message. Sorry, we didn't hang out on Thursday. You know, it's just better to be on top of it so you're not having to explain yourself afterwards why you didn't respond. I think that's obnoxious and I do it all the time. And then I always try and miss myself before adding mascara to my lower lashes, but I forgot. So I'm just hoping that when I miss myself with Fix Plus, it doesn't transfer. So um, I'm just gonna do a light misting this time. And then for a highlight, I find that no matter what powder highlighter I use, it is so obvious on the skin for a no makeup makeup look. Um, so I recently discovered this Ciate Dewy Skin or Dewy Sticks, which looks just like wet, dewy skin without the glitter. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. This is what the product looks like. And when I swatch it on my hand, see how it just looks glossy and oily, like the right amount of dewiness. Uh, so I love this product for a no makeup makeup look. And I just take the little uh, baby beauty blender and I pick it up. There's so much Mika fur on this. How? And the only area I'm going to apply it to is right here on the very high points of the cheeks. See how beautiful that is? I hope that the camera and the light are catching it. But don't go overboard with this product because you can look oily, but I think just like that looks super pretty. And for the lip, I honestly just love wearing a lip balm with an everyday natural look like this, but I recently been loving this Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector because it reminds me of their lip balm that I love so much and I finally ran out of it. The one I picked up at the airport, I forget the name of it, but I'll include it down below. Uh, this one has like a little bit of a tint, so it just gives a tiny bit of color without it 
being so obvious. So let me just go ahead and apply this so you guys see what I mean. And this color specifically is really natural. It is the shade number six. Number six, it has a name on it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just call it shade number six because I swear it had a name on it, but it just has a number six. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. And here is my final no makeup makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and hearing me talk about my strategy for getting rid of these bad habits in the new year. I highly recommend you guys do the same thing. If you have some bad habits that you wanna ditch in the new year, just write them down and find uh, something positive that you can replace those bad habits with. So definitely try it out. Let me know if this video helped you guys out. If you want to hear me talk about my bad habits some more, just um, watch my previous vlog. I go over them in detail there. I also hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs and I just really want to create more more and interesting content in this new year. You know, I want to put out as many videos as possible. I do do everything on my own, so it takes me a little bit of time, even if I'm being ambitious and I'm like, I want to put out five videos this week. It doesn't tend to happen because then my whole life would just be editing and filming, filming and editing. But I definitely just want to put out more content, more interesting and exciting content for you guys. Um, if you aren't familiar with the community feature on the YouTube app, I recently discovered it and I think it's so cool. Um, my phone is too far right now, if not, I would show you guys. But if you have the app on your phone, there's a section on my channel called Community. It's kind of like Twitter for YouTube, um, but I ask a lot of questions on there, like what you guys would wanna see next. Um, I do polls, like uh, what interests you guys, things like that. So definitely check it out because I love uh, seeing your guys' responses on there and just chatting with you. Um, so check that out. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload. And what else do I usually tell you guys to do? Share this video, or sorry, like the video, then share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.